We tore down a lot of devices in 2016, more than 30 to be exact. So while we give our tools a much needed break, let's talk about some of the cool new tech and design choices from last year. Here are a few of the most interesting revelations we saw on our teardown table in 2016. The new MacBook Pro line was released late 2016 and it's lighter than ever even with all the new tech, including the brand new Touch Bar. As Apple's second OLED equipped device, the Touch Bar also shares some family ties with the Apple Watch. We found two custom Apple chips right where the Touch Bar interfaces with the logic board. Also in keeping with Apple Watch tradition, the Touch Bar is covered in glass. It's a fun piece of tech and more versatile than the standard function keys, but unfortunately it's also unrepairable. And since we're on the subject of Apple devices, let's keep it in the family and talk about the brand new iPhone 7. On the outside, the iPhone 7 looks a lot like the iPhone 6S, but it's a goldmine of new design choices inside. Starting with the way it opens, past model iPhones have hinged open from the top. After dispatching the familiar pentalobe screws, we opened the iPhone 7, but this time we opened it from the side like a book. The display cables are now attached to the right side of the phone instead of clustered at the top. We also discovered never before seen in an iPhone tri-point Y00 screws guarding the usual repair suspects. Battery, display, home button, and more. While this is not a proprietary screw like the pentalobe, it is a difficult bit to find and a possible attempt to keep owners from venturing very far in their phones. Lastly, the new iPhone introduced us to the solid state home button. It's more like a home touch sensor, really. No buttons about it. A replaceable home button is great news for consumers. The mechanical home button has been a point of failure on past iPhones. The move to a non-mechanical button should improve overall reliability and reduce the need for replacement. Like the iPhone 7, LG gave us a brand new design for opening their G5. Without opening the phone, we were able to remove and replace the battery. And after just a few screws and some pryable clips, we popped open the display with ease. No fuss, no adhesive. LG finally figured out the modular unibody. The display is seamlessly mounted in the rear case, making for a luxury feel while still maintaining battery access. We hope this trend catches on. Moving on to VR headset tech, we found that the Oculus ditched the interchangeable lenses in favor of a pair of built-in lens-mounted displays. The asymmetric lens shapes allows users to focus the displays to suit their eyes by moving the headset up and down. No more swapping lenses or complex adjustments for your differently sighted friends. The sweet tech behind this fancy focus is a hybrid Fresnel lens. Combining the best of Fresnel and traditional lenses makes for some sick optics. This is just a short list of interesting things we saw in 2016 during our teardowns. Let us know your favorite developments in tech in the comments below. Be sure to check out all of our other teardowns on ifixit.com slash teardowns. And if you can't wait to see what makes it on our teardown table in 2017, be sure to subscribe to our channel now. Follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.